Chapter 1 From San Francisco to London The story begins with Mark Stevens, a spirited entrepreneur with a hunger for adventure, stepping onto a plane in San Francisco destined for the vibrant city of London. As the aircraft soared above the Pacific, Mark gazed out the window, contemplating the possibilities that lay ahead. Mark had always been drawn to the allure of distant lands and the promise of new experiences. He had built a successful tech startup in the Bay Area, but his restless spirit yearned for something more. London, with its rich history and bustling energy, seemed like the perfect destination to satisfy his thirst for exploration. Settling into his seat, Mark couldn't help but feel a flutter of excitement in his chest. He had heard stories of the city's iconic landmarks, charming neighborhoods, and thriving art scene. The prospect of immersing himself in a new culture and connecting with people from all walks of life filled him with anticipation. As the plane glided through the sky, Mark's thoughts wandered to the opportunities that awaited him. London was known for its vibrant startup ecosystem, and he wondered if he could establish connections and expand his business ventures and expand his business ventures in this bustling metropolis. He had meticulously researched the city's thriving industries and had a list of potential partners and investors he hoped to meet. Mark's journey wasn't just about business, though. He also sought personal growth and self-discovery. He wanted to challenge himself, push his boundaries, and uncover hidden depths within his own character. London, with its eclectic mix of cultures and the myriad of experiences it offered, seemed like the perfect backdrop for such a transformative journey. As the plane touched down at Heathrow Airport, Mark's excitement peaked. He collected his luggage and stepped out into the bustling terminal, ready to embark on his London adventure. Little did he know that this trip would be far more extraordinary than he could have ever imagined. With a determined stride and a gleam in his eyes, Mark set foot on British soil, ready to embrace the mysteries, the challenges, and the unexpected twists that awaited him in the city that would soon become his temporary home. The glass box, the unusual bet, and the enigmatic events that lay ahead were yet to be discovered, and Mark's journey had only just begun. Chapter 2 an unusual bet. Mark's first few days in London were filled with exploration and wonder as he immersed himself in the city's vibrant atmosphere. Every corner he turned seemed to reveal a new adventure, and he felt a surge of excitement coursing through his veins. During one fateful afternoon, while sipping a cup of tea at a quaint café in Covent Garden, Mark found himself engrossed in conversation with Richard, a fellow traveler he had met on the flight. Richard was known for his love of gambling and his affinity for daring bets that pushed the boundaries of conventional risk-taking. As they chatted about their shared love for adventure, Richard's eyes sparkled mischievously. Mark, my friend, he said, leaning in closer, I have a proposition for you, something that will truly test your mettle. Intrigued, Mark leaned forward, eager to hear more. Richard unveiled his plan. Mark would spend an entire month inside a glass box, strategically placed in a prominent location in London, captivating the attention of Passers Bay. The challenge was not only to endure the physical and mental strain of confinement, but to also attract enough onlookers to create a spectacle. Mark's eyebrows burrowed in contemplation. The idea seemed audacious, bordering on the absurd, but the spark of curiosity within him couldn't resist the thrill. He envisioned the attention, the conversations it would spark, and the potential for financial gain if he played his cards right. I accept, Mark declared with a twinkle in his eye. He could almost taste the adventure brewing on his lips. Richard chuckled, impressed by Mark's audacity. As they continued their conversation, Richard revealed that there was more to the bet than just confinement. There would be a wager a significant sum of money at stake, making the challenge even more enticing. Mark's mind raced with possibilities as he imagined the impact this daring feat could have on his life. They finalized the terms of the bet, shaking hands with a shared sense of anticipation. Mark couldn't help but feel a surge of adrenaline rush through his veins. He knew that this unusual bet would change the course of his London adventure, pushing him to his limits and testing the depths of his resilience. With the bet sealed, Mark began preparing himself mentally and physically for the month-long confinement. He knew he would need to summon all his strength and determination to endure the challenges that lay ahead. 
Little did he know that this glass box would become more than just a stage for public curiosity. It would become a crucible of self-discovery, presenting him with unexpected trials and remarkable opportunities that would reshape his perception of the world. As the days counted down to the start of his confinement, Mark couldn't help but feel a mixture of excitement and trepidation. He was ready to step into the glass box and embark on a journey that would test the limits of his endurance, ignite the curiosity of London, and reveal the depths of his character. Chapter 3 The Letter As the day of Mark's confinement in the glass box drew near, an unexpected twist awaited him. A letter arrived at his doorstep, its envelope bearing an elegant script and a wax seal. Intrigued, Mark carefully tore open the envelope, revealing a single sheet of parchment nestled inside. The letter was written in elaborate calligraphy, its words weaving a tale of mystery and intrigue. It spoke of hidden secrets and a path to untold riches. Mark's heart quickened with anticipation as he read each carefully crafted word, feeling as though he had stumbled upon a treasure map leading to his own personal fortune. The letter described a series of cryptic instructions, guiding Mark to a secret location where he would find something of immense value. It spoke of a tailor shop nestled in a quiet alley, a place shrouded in history and magic. Eager to unravel the enigma laid before him, Mark embarked on a journey to uncover the truth behind the letter's message. Following the clues meticulously, Mark found himself standing before the unassuming facade of the tailor's shop. The air was tinged with an aura of mystique as he pushed open the creaking door and stepped into a world frozen in time. Inside, shelves lined with fabrics and patterns whispered tales of the past, and the scent of aged leather permeated the air. A kindly old man, the shop's proprietor, greeted Mark with a warm smile. His eyes sparkled with a knowing glint, as if he anticipated Mark's arrival. Without a word, the tailor beckoned him to follow leading him through a hidden doorway at the back of the shop. Mark found himself in a room bathed in dim light, the walls adorned with photographs and faded newspaper clippings. In the center stood a mannequin dressed in a suit, its fabric shimmering with another worldly glow. A note left by its previous owner explained its significance. The suit possessed an extraordinary power. It brought good fortune to its wearer and bestowed upon them the ability to perceive hidden opportunities. Mark's pulse quickened as he realized the magnitude of the discovery before him. This suit held the potential to elevate his confinement in the glass box to new heights. With a mix of awe and anticipation, he donned the suit, feeling its ethereal energy wrap around him like a second skin. As he stood in front of the mirror, he noticed a subtle change in his reflection. A newfound confidence and clarity radiated from his eyes. The suit, it seemed, had unlocked something within him, igniting his senses and sharpening his intuition. Mark was ready to face the challenges of the glass box with renewed purpose and a heightened awareness of the opportunities that awaited him. Leaving the tailor's shop, Mark felt a sense of gratitude for the fortuitous path that had led him there. The letter had opened a door to a hidden realm of possibility, a realm where the convergence of the glass box and the magical suit promised to transform his confinement into an extraordinary journey of self-discovery and potential fortune. With the letter's guidance and the suit's power coursing through his veins, Mark was prepared to embark on a London adventure like no other. Chapter 4 At the Tailors With the ethereal energy of the enchanted suit pulsating through his being, Mark ventured deeper into the hidden realms of the tailor's shop. Every step echoed with anticipation, as if the very walls whispered secrets of the past. The old tailor, who seemed to possess an air of mysticism, led Mark into a small back room. The shelves were lined with rolls of fabric, each one holding stories of its own. The room exuded an aurea of craftsmanship and timelessness, as if it had existed for centuries. Mark's gaze was drawn to a particular corner of the room, where an intricately designed mannequin stood. It was adorned with a suit that seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly brilliance, catching the light in mesmerizing ways. The suit exuded an aura of power and possibility, as if it held secrets waiting to be unveiled. The tailor explained that this suit was more than just a garment. It was rumored to possess extraordinary properties. Legend had it that the suit brought good fortune to its wearer and granted them the ability to perceive hidden opportunities. 
Its previous owner had experienced great success and prosperity while wearing it, leaving behind a note attesting to its remarkable nature. Eager to embrace the suit's potential, Mark approached the mannequin, feeling a magnetic pull towards the fabric. He reached out and touched it, and a surge of energy coursed through his fingertips, spreading throughout his body. It was as if the suit had chosen him, acknowledging his desire for adventure and his hunger for something beyond the ordinary. With reverence, Mark slipped into the suit. Instantly, he felt a transformation within himself. The fabric molded to his form, fitting him perfectly as if it had been tailored specifically for him. He stood before the mirror, his reflection radiating a newfound confidence and clarity. The suit had become an extension of his identity, a conduit for his ambitions and aspirations. As Mark marveled at his transformed reflection, the tailor shared more insights about the suit's potential. It was said that those who wore it could perceive hidden opportunities that eluded others, a sixth sense that would guide Mark through the challenges that lay ahead. With this newfound knowledge, Mark felt emboldened, ready to face the trials and triumphs of the glass box with unwavering determination. Stepping out of the tailor's shop, Mark carried with him not only the enchanted suit, but also a sense of purpose and possibility. He knew that he had been chosen for something extraordinary, and he embraced this newfound destiny with open arms. The glass box awaited him, and within its transparent confines, Mark would test the limits of his resilience, ignite curiosity in the hearts of onlookers, and unlock the full potential of the suit's mysterious powers. With every step, Mark's confidence grew. The glass box would be his stage, and London would bear witness to a tale of transformation, where the ordinary would collide with the extraordinary, and the confines of the box would give birth to boundless opportunities. As Mark left the tailor's shop behind, he felt a surge of excitement coursing through his veins, eager to embark on the next chapter of his journey, armed with the suit's enchantment and a heart filled with determination. Chapter 5 The Poor Millionaire As Mark prepared for his confinement in the glass box, an unexpected encounter awaited him on the streets of London. It was a crisp autumn day when he noticed a disheveled figure sitting on a park bench, huddled against the chill. The man, named Daniel, wore tattered clothing and appeared to be down on his luck. Intrigued by the juxtaposition of this destitute man against the backdrop of opulence and grandeur that surrounded him, Mark approached Daniel with a compassionate curiosity. They struck up a conversation, and Mark soon discovered that appearances could be deceiving. Daniel, it turned out, was not just an ordinary beggar. He revealed himself to be a once wealthy millionaire who had fallen on hard times. A series of unfortunate events and poor financial decisions had stripped him of his wealth and left him with nothing but the clothes on his back. Intrigued by Daniel's story, Mark listened intently as the former millionaire shared the lessons he had learned from his rise and fall. He spoke of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the importance of humility and gratitude in the face of adversity. Mark was captivated by Daniel's wisdom, seeing beyond his current circumstances to the depths of resilience and strength that lay within him. Intrigued by the mysterious twist of fate that had brought them together, Mark extended an invitation to Daniel. He invited him to a private dinner party, hoping to further explore the depths of this man's story and perhaps find inspiration for his own journey within the glass box. The dinner party was an intimate gathering, attended by influential individuals from various walks of life. Mark introduced Daniel to the guests, who were intrigued by the tale of the poor Millier. Over the course of the evening, conversations flowed, stories were shared, and bonds were formed. As the night progressed, Daniel's presence commanded attention and respect. He spoke with eloquence and humility, captivating the room with his rags, to Rich's tale. It became evident that wealth was not merely measured in material possessions, but in the lessons learned and the resilience developed in the face of adversity. Inspired by Daniel's story, Mark realized that his confinement in the glass box was not just a test of endurance, but an opportunity for personal growth. He saw the glass box as a platform to inspire others, to share stories of triumph over hardship, and to challenge the perceptions of wealth and success. As the dinner party came to a close, Mark and Daniel exchanged heartfelt goodbyes. 
they had forged a connection that transcended their disparate circumstances, bound by a shared understanding of the transformative power of resilience and the true value of wealth. With a renewed sense of purpose, Mark left the dinner party with a fire in his heart. The encounter with the poor millionaire had reinforced his belief in the potential for change and the limitless opportunities that awaited him both inside and outside the glass box. Little did Mark know that his encounter with Daniel was just the beginning of a series of extraordinary events that would unfold during his confinement. The glass box would become a stage not only for his own journey, but for the stories of others, revealing that beneath the surface of appearances, riches could be found in the most unexpected places. Chapter 6 The Dinner Party As the sun dipped below the London skyline, casting a golden hue across the city, Mark prepared to host a grand dinner party. The glass box stood as a beacon of curiosity in a prominent location, drawing in passers-by who wondered about the purpose of this unique spectacle. Mark had meticulously planned the evening, carefully selecting guests from diverse backgrounds, artists, entrepreneurs, visionaries, and storytellers, all gathered to share their tales of inspiration and aspiration. The air was filled with an electric energy as the guests arrived one by one, dressed in their finest attire, their eyes alive with anticipation. The glass box served as the centerpiece of the gathering, a stage for both Mark and the stories of resilience and triumph he aimed to share. The conversation flowed freely as guests mingled, their voices a symphony of ideas and experiences. Each person carried within them a unique narrative, a story that had shaped their journey and fueled their ambitions. Mark, wearing the enchanted suit, stood at the heart of it all, a magnetic presence drawing the attention of the guests. He shared his own tale of transformation, the bet, the letter, the tailor's shop, and the encounter with the poor millionaire. He spoke of the glass box as a crucible of self-discovery and the profound lessons he had learned along the way. As the evening progressed, the guests took turns sharing their own stories of perseverance and achievement. They spoke of overcoming adversity, embracing failure as a stepping stone to success, and finding meaning in their respective passions. Each story added another layer to the collective narrative, inspiring those around them and igniting a spark of possibility in the hearts of all who listened. Mark noticed that the glass box had become more than a confined space. It had become a symbol of transparency, vulnerability, and the power of human connection. The guests, both inside and outside the box, had become united in their shared pursuit of growth and fulfillment. In the midst of the conversations, Mark caught sight of Daniel, the once wealthy millionaire he had met on the park bench. Daniel's transformation was evident, clean-shaven, wearing a tailored suit, and exuding an air of quiet confidence. He shared his story with the guests, recounting his fall from wealth and the lessons he had learned along the way. It was a story of resilience, humility, and the discovery of true riches that lay beyond material possessions. The dinner party became a celebration of the human spirit, a tapestry of stories woven together, creating a symphony of hope and inspiration. Boundaries dissolved as the guests connected on a profound level, realizing that their shared experiences of triumph and tribulation formed the threads that wove them into a vibrant community of dreamers and doers. As the evening drew to a close, Mark felt a profound sense of gratitude for the connections forged and the stories shared. The glass box had served as a catalyst for transformation, not only for himself, but for all who had been touched by its presence. It had become a testament to the power of vulnerability and the strength that lies within the human spirit. With hearts full and minds brimming with newfound inspiration, the guests departed, carrying the stories and lessons of the dinner party with them. The glass box stood as a silent witness, its transparent walls symbolizing the potential for growth, change, and the boundless opportunities that awaited those willing to step into the unknown. As Mark retired for the night, he reflected on the evening's events. The dinner party had become a defining moment in his London adventure reaffirming his purpose and deepening his commitment to embracing the extraordinary in every aspect of his journey. Tomorrow would mark the continuation of his confinement in the glass box, and he eagerly awaited the new stories and experiences that awaited him. Chapter 7 A Million Dollar Idea The morning sun cast its gentle rays upon the glass box as Mark woke up, filled with anticipation for the day ahead. 
He knew that within the confines of the box lay not only personal growth, but also the potential for a game, changing idea, one that could reshape his future and perhaps even impact the world beyond. As he settled into his temporary home, Mark's mind buzzed with possibilities. He reflected on the conversations from the dinner party, the stories of resilience and triumph, and the collective wisdom shared by the diverse group of guests. Inspiration ignited within him, fueling a surge of creativity and innovation. With the enchanted suit enhancing his senses, Mark found himself noticing details and patterns he had never before considered. Every passing moment held potential, and he began to dissect the world around him, seeking out the hidden opportunities that others might overlook. As he observed the bustling streets of London from his glass enclosure, an idea began to form, a concept that would bridge the gap between art and technology, bringing people together through shared experiences. It was a million-dollar idea, shimmering with the promise of success and impact. Mark wasted no time. He scribbled down his thoughts, mapping out the intricate details of his vision. The idea grew wings, taking shape with each stroke of the pen. It was a platform that would enable artists from different disciplines to collaborate, utilizing cutting-edge technology to transcend physical limitations and create immersive experiences for audiences worldwide. With his heart racing in a surge of adrenaline, fueling his determination, Mark set out to bring his million-dollar idea to life. He reached out to the connections he had made at the dinner party, sharing his vision and rallying their support. The response was overwhelming, with artists, technologists, and investors expressing their enthusiasm and eagerness to be part of this groundbreaking venture. Days turned into weeks as Mark meticulously crafted the blueprint for his platform. He assembled a team of passionate individuals, each bringing their unique expertise to the table. They worked tirelessly, fueled by a shared sense of purpose and the belief that their creation could transform the way people experienced art and storytelling. Together, they forged partnerships with leading artists, securing their commitment to push the boundaries of their respective fields. They harnessed emerging technologies, virtual reality, augmented reality, and artificial intelligence to craft immersive experiences that would transport audiences to realms previously unimaginable. As the platform began to take shape, Mark realized that his confinement in the glass box had served as a crucible, incubating not only personal growth, but also the birth of a revolutionary concept. The glass box had become a symbol of transformation, encapsulating the power of vulnerability, creativity, and human connection. The launch of the platform was a resounding success, capturing the attention of audiences worldwide. Critics lauded its innovation, and users marveled at the transformative experiences it offered. Mark's million-dollar idea had come to fruition, not only bringing him financial success, but also fulfilling a deeper purpose, to inspire and ignite the imaginations of individuals around the globe. As he stood on the stage, Accepting accolades and reflecting on the journey that had led him here, Mark's gaze drifted back to the glass box. It had been the catalyst, the crucible that had propelled him to the heights of creativity and ambition. He felt gratitude for the experiences it had bestowed upon him and for the lessons learned within its transparent walls. The glass box stood as a testament to the extraordinary potential that resides within each individual. It reminded Mark and all who witnessed his journey that, sometimes, the greatest ideas are born in the most unexpected circumstances, emerging from the depths of vulnerability and the willingness to embrace the unknown. Chapter 8 Back to Portland Place After the whirlwind of success and the realization of his million-dollar idea, Mark found himself standing outside the glass box, ready to embark on the next chapter of his journey. The vibrant streets of London stretched before him, filled with the energy of possibility and the hum of everyday life. But amidst the excitement and the opportunities that lay ahead, a familiar tug pulled at Mark's heart, a longing for the place he once called home, Portland Place he once called home. Portland Place, with its stately buildings and tree-lined streets, beckoned to him like a nostalgic melody. With a mix of anticipation and trepidation, Mark boarded a plane, leaving behind the bustling streets of London and returning to the familiar embrace of his former city, San Francisco. 
It felt like coming full circle, bringing with him the wisdom and experiences he had gained during his time in the glass box. As Mark stepped onto the familiar pavement of Portland Place, memories flooded back. The sights, the sounds, and the scents of the neighborhood enveloped him, igniting a sense of belonging and purpose. It was here that his journey had begun, where the seeds of transformation had been sown. Mark reunited with old friends and family, sharing the tales of his adventures within the glass box and the subsequent realization of his million-dollar idea. Their eyes sparkled with pride and admiration as they listened to his journey unfold, recognizing the growth and transformation that had taken place. But Mark knew that his return to Portland Place was not merely a homecoming. It was an opportunity to give back, to inspire others, and to create change within his community. Armed with newfound knowledge and resources, he set out to make a difference, leveraging his success to uplift those around him. He established a foundation dedicated to supporting local artists, providing them with opportunities to showcase their work and collaborate with technologists to explore new frontiers. The streets of Portland Place became a canvas for creativity and innovation, as art installations and interactive experiences breathed new life into the neighborhood. Mark's presence in Portland Place became a source of inspiration, not only for aspiring artists, but for the community as a whole. He organized workshops, mentorship programs, and events that encouraged individuals to embrace their passions, take risks, and pursue their dreams with unwavering determination. As the years passed, Portland Place transformed into a vibrant hub of creativity and cultural exchange. It became known as a place where dreams were nurtured, where individuals were encouraged to think outside the box and redefine what was possible. Mark's vision had transcended the boundaries of the glass box, permeating every corner of the neighborhood. Yet, amidst the success and impact he had created, Mark never forgot the lessons learned within the glass box. The value of vulnerability, the power of human connection, and the need to constantly push beyond comfort zones, he remained humble, open to new experiences, and committed to personal growth. As Mark walked the streets of Portland Place, he marveled at the legacy he had helped build. It was a testament to the transformative power of following one's passions, embracing the extraordinary, and giving back to the community that had nurtured him. The glass box, once a symbol of confinement, had become a catalyst for change. A reminder that every individual possesses the power to shape their own destiny and make a lasting impact. And as Mark stood in the heart of Portland Place, he knew that his journey was far from over. There were still new horizons to explore, new dreams to pursue, and a world waiting to be transformed by the unwavering spirit of resilience and possibility. Concludes the story of Glass Box. Mark's journey from San Francisco to London. The unusual bet. The letter the tailor's visit, the encounter with the poor millionaire, the transformative dinner party, the million-dollar idea, and the return to Portland Place have all unfolded, showcasing the power of resilience, human connection, and the pursuit of extraordinary experiences. Mark's time in the glass box served as a crucible for personal growth, leading him to discover his true potential and ignite a spark of creativity that would change his life and the lives of those around him. The story highlights the importance of embracing vulnerability, learning from adversity, and finding inspiration in unexpected places. The Glass Box is a tale of transformation, resilience, and the limitless possibilities that await those who dare to step outside their comfort zones and embrace the extraordinary. It invites readers and viewers to reflect on their own journeys, to see the potential for growth in every experience, and to embrace the power of connection and creativity in shaping a meaningful and fulfilling life. As the story comes to a close, Mark's legacy lives on in the transformed streets of Portland Place, where art, innovation, and community thrive. It is a testament to the enduring impact of his journey and a reminder that the glass box was merely a starting point, an invitation to embrace the extraordinary and create a lasting impact on the world. With his million-dollar idea thriving in the world at his feet, Mark knew that his adventure had only just begun. The glass box had served its purpose, but its impact would forever be etched in his memory, a constant reminder of the transformative power of resilience, connection, and the unwavering pursuit of the extraordinary.